Hello everyone, a very welcome to Vyas Edification Quota. So today we are starting with a new chapter in the series of NCRT discussion here and the chapter is Sexual Reproduction in Flowering Plants. So we are going to discuss each and every question given in your NCRT book in this chapter that is Sexual Reproduction in Flowering Plants and this chapter is from class 12 which is the second chapter of that book. And also, this chapter contains total 18 questions in it. Now, in this, in this session, in this series, we are going to uh, discuss all questions, all of the questions given in your NCRT one by one in detail. So, let's begin with the very first question of this chapter. That is, name the parts of an angiosperm flower in which development of male and female gametophyte takes place. So, first of all, what is gametophyte? We must know what is gametophyte. Gametophyte is any structure, any structure which is going to give rise to gametes. Any structure which is going to give rise to gametophyte is known as, gam uh, is going to give rise to gametes is known as gametophyte. Now, here we comes with what is male gametophyte and what is female gametophyte in case of flowering plants or angiospermic plants. So, we know that in case of male, we have pollen grains. Pollen grains are not male gametes. People often confuse with the pollen grain as gametes or gametophyte, but it is not gamete. Pollen grains are actually gametophyte. So, in case of male, in case of angiospermic plants, we have male gametophyte as pollen grain and in case of female, in angiospermic plants, we have embryo sac as female gametophyte. Ovule, remember, ovule is not an, uh, not a gametophyte, it is a megasporangium inside which the female gametophyte known as embryo sac is being developed. So, now we, are, we, are know, we know that what is gametophyte? Any structure which is going to give rise to gametes is known as gametophyte. Gametophyte can be of two types that is male gametophyte and female gametophyte. In case of angiospermic plants or flowering plants as we are studying about the sexual reproduction in flowering plants. So, in case of angiospermic plants or flowering plants, we have male gamete as pollen grains and we have female gamete as embryo sac. Now, we have to discuss where does the development of these two gametophytes, the gametophyte such as pollen grain and the gametophyte such as embryo sac. Both these two gamete, both these, these two are the gametophytes. Where does the development of these two gametophytes actually takes place? So, if we discuss first of, uh, first of all the development of a male gametophyte, then we know that in case of angiospermic plants or flowering plants, we have flowers as their reproductive organs or reproductive structures inside which the male and female reproductive organs or reproductive parts are present. We talk about the male reproductive organ that is stamen which is consisting of two parts that is anther and filament. Now anther is bilobed and both of the lobes, each lobe of the anther contains two microsporangia which are the sac like structures. Alright, so in total we have four microsporangias in anther. Inside microsporangias we have a special tissue known as porogenous tissue and a special kind of cell known as pollen mother cell or microspore mother cell. These pollen mother cells or micro mother cells being deployed in nature as they are part of the flowering plants they undergo meiotic divisions to form pollen grains. They undergo meiotic division as they are deployed in nature. They undergo meiotic division to form a male gametophyte known as pollen grain. So, now we know that where does the pollen grain or male gametophyte develops? Inside the anther, inside the 
microsporangias in anther the pollen grain or male gametophyte actually develops if we talk about the female gametophyte then the female gametophyte development takes place inside the megasporangium now what is female megasporangium the ovule ovule is a female megasporangium now as we know that in flowering plants or angiospermic plants the uh, reproductive structure total reproductive structure is flower which can contain which can contain both male and female reproductive organs in case of female reproductive organ we have pistil or carpel this pistil or carpel being female reproductive organ consists of three parts it is made up of three parts such as stigma style and ovary inside ovary there is a cavity known as ovarian cavity or locule inside this locule or ovarian cavity we have ovule as a megasporangium which is attached to placenta with the help of a funicle inside this ovule which is also known as female megasporangium we have a special kind of tissue that is nucellus tissue and a special kind of cell known as megas uh, megaspore mother cell these megaspore mother cells are also deployed in nature as they are part of the flowering plant they also undergo meiotic divisions to form female gametophyte known as embryo sac so now we have completed that where does the development of male gametophyte and female gametophyte takes place in case of pollen grains it develops inside the microsporangiums in anther and in case of female gametophyte this develops inside the female megasporangium known as ovule so now if we want to write the answer then we know the answer of what is gametophyte any structure which is going to give rise to gamete is known as gametophyte but the question is asking where does the male gametophyte and female gametophyte develops in case of angiospermic flower so first of all we'll write the male gametophyte the male gametophyte such as such as pollen grain the pollen grain is male gametophyte so the male gametophyte such as pollen grain develops inside the microsporangias microsporangias and these microsporangias are present in anther which is the part of a stamen and what is stamen stamen is actually a male reproductive organ or male reproductive part in case of angiospermic flower now similarly the female gametophyte the female gametophyte what is female gametophyte the female gametophyte is not ovule it is embryo sac such as embryo sac so the female gametophyte such as embryo sac develops inside the female inside the female megasporangium inside the female megasporangium now what is female megasporangium what is female megasporangium the female megasporangium is an ovule so the development of pollen grains which are known as male gametes male gametophyte they develop inside the anthers where does uh, where where in the anthers inside the microsporangia of anthers and in case of female gametophyte the development of female gametophyte such as embryo sac takes place inside the female megasporangium which is known as ovule 
So this is the complete solution of question number 1 here. Now we have completed it.